Have you ever looked at a programmer setup and thought, wow, that really looks amazing, but it also looks very complicated? Or maybe you're tired of doing everything in your computer's terminal, or option number three, you're looking for a nice interface to put all of your generated code from these new vibe coding applications like lovable.dev, emergent.io, and others. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up VS Code. It's the world's most popular code editor, and soon it's gonna be your ultimate vibe coding hub for all of your AI assisted and app building projects. We'll not only make it look stunning, but also install some must have extensions that are gonna make it much more productive when you're actually getting in there and working. So even if you're a complete beginner, by the end of this video, uh, you're gonna have a really good setup and have a basic foundation for where you can pull this code um, from these vibe coding platforms. So uh, stick with me till the end and you're gonna feel a lot better about your vibe coding setup to actually take this code from those platforms and then turn it into a full stack, ready to ship application. Let's do it. So why else are we using VS Code? Because it's not just another code editor, it's the ultimate setup for all of your vibe coding projects and it's completely free. It's powerful, handles almost any programming language from HTML, CSS to Python and JavaScript. It's also highly customizable. This is where the vibe comes in. Themes, fonts, icons, you can make it very personalized. It's also lightweight and fast. It won't bog down your computer, keeping all of your workflows smooth. It also has a massive ecosystem, so thousands of extensions add functionality, which can also help boost your productivity. And last but not least, it's AI ready. It's the perfect environment for AI coding assistants like Cursor AI, and where you can use all of that AI generated code from tools like lovable.dev and bolt.new. This is where we'll write the code for our websites, our apps, and bring all of our AI generated projects to life. First, let's get VS Code installed. It's pretty straightforward. To download, we're gonna head over to code.visualstudio.com. Click the big download button for your operating system, whether that's Windows, Mac, or Linux. Then to install, just run the installer. Just click next or continue through the steps, accept the license agreement, and now we're ready to start our setup for VS Code. You'll see key areas like the sidebar on the left for your files and extensions, the main editor area where you'll write code, and then the integrated terminal at the bottom. Let's make your VS Code look absolutely stunning and perfect for all your vibe coding sessions. First, let's choose a theme. This is all about the aesthetic. Go to the extensions view, that square icon on the left sidebar. Search for theme or a specific popular theme. Some of my personal favorites are Synthwave 84 for that neon retro feel, One Dark Pro for a classic clean dark theme, Material Theme Pale Knight, which is gonna have a more uh, modern, vibrant color. And then there's more fun ones like Dracula Official, which is another popular dark theme. So uh, you can really search and find one that is gonna be you know, personalized for you. Next, choosing a font. Go to File, Preferences, and then Settings. Search for Font Family. I recommend options like Fiber Code, JetBrains Mono, or Cascadia Code, known for readability and aesthetic features. Make sure to install the font on your operating system first, then set it in the VS Code settings. If you're looking for some good fonts to download, I found some good ones on nerdfonts.com, including that Fiber Code. Uh, super easy to install, and then you can just change it once you have it installed locally to VS Code. And finally, file icons. For visual organization, go back to extensions. Search for material icon theme or VS Code icons. Install and apply. This just makes your file explorer so much more organized and visually appealing as well. Now our coding environment is starting to look good. So let's keep going. So we've done all of our aesthetic stuff and a beautiful editor is great, but powerful extensions are what really make VS Code great. Here are some of my must have extensions that I would definitely recommend when you're getting started with VS Code. First, Live Server for instant web previews. Install Live Server by Ritwick Day. Create a simple HTML file. Right click and choose Open with Live Server. This is a must have for web development because then you're able to see your changes instantly. Next up, Prettier. It's a code formatter for cleaner code. Install Prettier Code Formatter by Esben Peterson. After installing, make sure to enable Format on Save in your VS Code settings and set Prettier as your default formatter. Now watch this messy code. The moment I save the file, Prettier automatically formats it into clean, readable code. So as you can see here in the screenshot, I've got my original messy code on the left, and then on the right is the version that Prettier uh, went ahead and corrected some things. So as you can see, it's just fi fixing a few syntax errors, a few minor issues with the code, 
Um, but this can really make a big difference when you're trying to, to get something finished and it could be one small thing uh, that's holding you back. So really great free extension that I would highly recommend installing. Now, one thing I wanna take note of real quick, uh, we don't actually have to install this extension anymore, but it's worth mentioning. The bracket pair colorizer, VS Code has now built in its bracket pair colorization. So this automatically color codes your opening and closing brackets, parentheses, and curly braces. So this makes nested code much easier to read. So no more having to get lost in complex structures. Um, it's already integrated there for you. And for a glimpse into AI coding assistance, tools like GitHub Copilot can help you write code faster by suggesting completions as you type, or even answer your coding questions in a dedicated chat sidebar. I've got a few examples here to take a look at. For example, here I've asked how can I reverse a string in JavaScript, and then it's given me an example and how I could plug it into my project. If your code's not working right, you can also right click and get GitHub Copilot to actually take a look at your code and fix any errors that might be happening as well. So as you can see here, I right clicked and then asked Copilot to fix, and it's gonna take a look at everything, rewrite it, and we can either accept or deny. And just like that, you've transformed your VS Code into the ultimate vibe coding powerhouse. Maybe before today, you were just doing everything in the terminal or throwing everything in a text editor, but not anymore. You now have a visually stunning coding environment that feels great to work in, essential productivity tools like Live Server and Prettier, and a foundation ready for AI coding assistance like Cursor AI, and for integrating all the AI generated code that we've explored previously like Emergent.io and Lovable.dev. So this empowers you to build apps faster, accelerate your web development projects, and learn coding more effectively. So if you're excited to start building with your all new VS Code setup, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We're definitely gonna be getting more into VS Code in the future uh, with the code that we're generating from these Vibe Coding platforms. So uh, if you're super stoked to dive in, start building whatever digital product, uh, website, application that you're working on, um, make sure to turn those notifications on because um, we're gonna have more coming out in the next few weeks. So. That's all I have for today. Uh, hope your VS Code Studio looks awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.